All right. In the last video, we saw a little intro to global variables and one reason you might decide to use them. Here's another thing you can do with global variables that is very popular and very useful in your games. Once you start getting comfortable with variables, you're going to want to start taking numbers that you type in a lot over and over, like say speed 4 for the player, and you can actually make this a variable. And it's easier just to show you how this can make your code a little cleaner, easier, and uh, makes it very easy to change things up. I'm going to set a global variable that determines how fast the player moves. When the player gets to room 1 and picks up the speed up object, I'm going to change this variable and you'll see that now the player has a little bit of a speed boost and how this is easily done using the global variables. So I'm going to go to my global object here that we already have made. I'm going to add another global variable for the player. Now, global dot player speed equals 4. So this is going to be my normal speed for the player. Okay? A game owned variable here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the player. I'm going to modify the two places where I set the player's speed. When they hit left, I set the speed to 4. Here's where I want to use the global variable. I'm going to say global dot player speed. So this still reads speed equals 4. The only difference now, as you'll see in a minute, this makes it very easy for me to change the value for the speed of the player later on in the game. I'm going to do the same thing with the right key. Instead of four, global dot player speed. Now, if you think about it, <clears throat> if I had all four arrow keys working, I'd have to go and change that in four places. That may seem like a little bit of work at the beginning, but had I coded it like this right from the start, it's very convenient. If ever I decide I want to change the player speed, I can just pop to my global object, go over here, and change it to 6. Anywhere in my entire program where I've typed in 6 for the player speed, that's just updated because everywhere in the code I've used the word global.playerspeed instead. So it's very easy to start modifying your program. Now, just to check that this is still working, I'll just give this a quick run with the speed of 4. Yeah, so it still looks good. And now I'm going to make that little change where the player picks up the power up and all of a sudden his speed has changed. So player, we already have this collision done here. Object speed up. Not only am I going to destroy the speed up, but just before I destroy it, I'm going to say global. Dot player speed equals 8. Now the nice thing here. is that since every time I hit left and right, I'm setting my speed to global.playerspeed, which will now be 8. Now, we'll add one little change after we see how this runs. But you'll see that I can go to the second room. And as soon as I pick up that power up, I don't... Sp Oof. Now I move at a speed of 8 every time I hit the keys. If you wanted to get fancy, which you will in a challenge coming up soon, you can add an alarm on here to put that variable back to 4. So maybe the speed up only lasts for a few seconds. right? You could just set global.playerspeed back down to 4 again. Okay, So it's a good use of globals. Now one little addition that I do want to make in here. I don't know if you noticed, but if I don't actually have the key being held down, which mostly I do, I got the player hitting it. I could say speed equals global dot player speed. Now you may wonder why do you have to do that, but let's say your player didn't have the friction on and the player didn't hit the key, but you want that speed instantly to go up to eight. When they touch that object, you have to set the speed instantly up to eight right away. 
If you don't, you have to wait for them to hit the left or the right key to actually get that speed change. So that's just a little addition there in case in your own games you uh, you wonder, whoa, I wanted the player to pick up speed right away. In this one, you don't really notice because you're holding down the keys. But anyways, that's one nice little addition you can do okay, with global variables. So that was a quick little intro on the global variables. Now go practice a few on uh, this lesson's challenge, and then we'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching.